it's Matthew. I am not taking out the garbage today, but I am going to be using this for my reservoir for my hydroponic system. It's around 77 liters, 20 US gallons is about, and this will be quite the upgrade from that five gallon bucket I was using last year. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this outside, dig a hole, set it in there, and get things ready. Okay, I'm gonna dig a hole for this thing for two reasons. One, it needs to be lower than my tubes because the water and nutrient is, are gonna need somewhere to drain out to. Second reason is just a little bit cool and that's gonna be a little bit better for the plants. There'll be a couple pieces of equipment that we'll put into the reservoir. One, of course, being the pump that will deliver the water to the tubes. And the other will be an air stone, and this will help aerate the water and keep it from going stag. So you can get, this one is a ceramic air stone. There's different kinds. This one is more like a rock kind of thing. I'm just gonna be putting this one in there to see how it works. So I'll put those in. So that's just one of them. I have two and then they're connected by little uh, T-valves and things like that. So I'm going to hook up my plumbing and I'm just about ready to go. The last thing I need to do is fill up the reservoir with water and I'll give it a quick test and then maybe explain to you guys a little bit how it's working in case you don't know. So the way this is going to work is actually quite simple. The pump's going to turn on, start filling up the pipe with water, we'll have our net pots inside. Inside the net pots we'll have our plants and uh, the hydrogen. As the water's filling up, the hydrogen's going to get wet, the roots are going to get wet, and your plants are going to be able to get all the nutrient they want. I'll probably leave it on um, for about a minute, maybe 30 seconds a minute. Um, the water is going to start to drain out of the overflow we put in. This way the water is not going to be spilling out the top of the pipe. We have the overflow valve inside and when the water gets to that level it will start to drain out and drain into our reservoir. After about a minute and the pumps will turn off, all the water will start to drain out. Um, the roots will be able to get the oxygen and everything they need to grow a lot better and uh, it will be another, maybe we'll feed it again in half an hour or an hour depending on how the plants are responding to the, the feed cycle and that's about it.
So that's all I'm going to be doing this episode. Uh, next ep episode I'll be getting the plants ready to put in here. I'm just going to monitor it for a few days to see how the battery's doing and I want to make sure that the battery's going to be able to hold up to uh, the schedule I have this thing set to. So I'm just going to monitor it for the next few days and see what happens. Thanks.